There's a crazy amount of people here right now. Everybody taking photos. That is amazing. So I was looking it up the other day because I was confusing myself uh, as to the difference between plum trees and cherry blossoms. So cherry blossoms you can see in the leaf where it splits. And uh, some people described it as a natural phenomenon that basically only happens here, well, I mean, it happens other places too, but um, because there's so much of it here, it's amazing just to take in. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go and roam throughout the park. I just wanted to share the uh, beauty of this spot with you guys. So the funniest thing happened, somebody commented, um, I won't point it out, even though I already pointed it out on Twitter, X, whatever you wanna call it, um, <laughs> but somebody was like, Oh, I'm trying to watch these Jap Japan videos and they're so boring, blah, 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 it's too hard to watch. I'm like, yeah, no, no kidding, dude. Like, I mean, it's kind of just day-to-day -day vlogging. Like, what do you want me to do? There's only so much excitement. I mean, to me, this is exciting. Like, I enjoy doing this. Obviously, today is going to be a little bit of a slower pace, mainly because I'm exhausted and also mainly because we're literally just roaming through a park. It is what it is. And then we're going to go to uh, Akihabara later on, which is going to be much more exciting and much more chaotic than this. But, uh, I mean, dude, it's, it's travel content. Like, coming to Japan, there's certain things that you're gonna want to see and film and stuff like that but honestly it's only one person so I could really care less I'm enjoying this type of content that I'm doing right now plus mixing it up obviously with the haunted stuff uh, the abandoned stuff um, all that but uh, yeah honestly I, I could care less it doesn't even phase me one bit I just kind of wanted to say it and point it out because um, I don't care that's uh, that's all there is to it so at the moment I am just aimlessly walking through here just enjoying all the beautiful scenery, as is everybody else. Uh, I'm probably gonna stop for a coffee at some point. Damn, look at that. So down there, I don't even know what's down here. We're just gonna keep walking and uh, when I find cool stuff, I'll film it. So down here says there is a Taiwan pavilion, which is gonna be pretty cool because we're going there in not even 10 days from now. <laughs> this is a interesting looking building. Not sure what it's all about. So it looks to be some sort of like viewing platform. Let's go check it out. Oh wow. Wow. Now that's a view. <laughs> So apparently this pavilion here was a gift from the Taiwanese people back in 1927 when there was a wedding um, of the prince. Pretty cool. A lot of neat history, kind of just everywhere you go. Alright, let's see what's down this way now. Looks like here we got a bunch of bridges. Just like little mini ones. Is there anything in this water? Constantly on the lookout for koi, but I don't think there are any in here. <laughs> Damn, it is just beautiful over here. I could see why it was uh, came so highly regarded. Just beautiful little lakes, bridges. magical <laughs> what's incredible too is that you can still see the skyline of the city all down there there's a lot of beauty here I know I'm probably just capturing small little glimpses of it but wow this place is impressive 
But uh, I'm gonna turn around, probably head that way, and uh, apparently there's some coffee shops. I'm not gonna lie, it smells really good here, and uh, I'm kind of just enjoying a little bit of peace and serenity. Serenity now! <laughs> Oh man, um, but yeah, no, seriously, I am very much enjoying it. I'm not filming like the entire thing because there's really no point. Just kind of bits and pieces when I find like really, really cool spots. Like that one back there, for example, uh, where there's a lot of Sakura or Sakura. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go over to the other side now as well and uh, find that Starbucks that's here somewhere. Even though I'm not really a big fan of Starbucks, I just really need a coffee um because you know i'm a caffeine addict and uh unfortunately i don't have my nespresso machine with me in the park so we're just gonna have to pay for some damn look at it down there the cherry blossoms just go on forever it's like there's an entire just strip from one side all the way to the other so cool man i'd also like to point out how many people there are here right now <laughs> like in this one area like down there where I just came from is very quiet, but of course everyone flocks to the cherry blossoms. I mean, I don't blame them. They're absolutely gorgeous. And uh, it's gonna probably look really cool once we get to Kyoto and those areas as well. There's more on this side too. Holy crap, man. <laughs> They're everywhere. But uh, I think I've located the Starbucks. Um, probably gonna put the camera away for now. Well, I'll keep it on hand, but uh, I'm just gonna try and enjoy the rest of the walk without filming it. Cause uh, it's just too beautiful not to, to take in. So apparently back there was not Starbucks, uh, but we are getting closer. Cause I'm seeing people with bags and cups and stuff, but wow. So that's the Starbucks line. Um, no thanks, I'm not waiting in that. Holy. How freaking far down does this go? All the way over here. Wow, just for a f cappuccino? Nope, not doing it. Damn, these trees are freaking cool. Also, look how dense it is right here. That is crazy cool. So there's like a whole garden over here. There's a, guess, a greenhouse back there. Some museum as well. Definitely very interesting this place. I love it. So there's a giant greenhouse. I don't know if it's anything interesting. It could be. I'm not too sure. Wow, look at all the pretty flowers. It's uh, quite nice in here, very exotic. But unfortunately no coffee. <laughs> and all I know is I really need one. Oh, going into the back cave or something? Oh, not quite. <laughs> Damn, this is freaking cool. There's like multiple levels and stuff. I'm just kind of waiting for like the pterodactyls to show up at some point. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet, so I think we're okay. There's a little tiny waterfall going over here. Pretty much it for this. A lot of cool things to see, that's for sure. So I think that's uh, pretty much it for the park. Um, again, nothing crazy or super over the top exciting, just you know, something fun to come and explore. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually head to an area called Akihabara, uh, which is like electronic central games, hobby shops, 
um, all sorts of things. I know there was one store that closed down. I can't remember if it was the Nintendo or the Sega. One or the other, but it was open the last time I came, and then at some point shortly after, it ended up permanently closing, which is unfortunate. But yeah, let's head on over there. Hopefully, I can find a coffee shop along the way because I am dying for some caffeine right now. And uh, yeah, we'll see you there in a moment. Alright guys, we have finally made it to Akihabara, um, so what ended up happening was yesterday, honestly I was just getting really tired and uh, I wanted to edit my forest video so I didn't actually end up coming here, but decided to come through today and uh, this place is really cool, so it's known as Electric Town, this is where all the very very popular electric items essentially are uh, I know there's like a Sega store Nintendo store one of them I think closed down a few years ago I can't remember which one but we're gonna just kind of aimlessly roam around get lost down here and uh, see what it is that we find so one thing that's kind of cool down here is uh, there are these dart sports bar they're kind of like little dive bars I believe it's down there bar rhythm uh, cool places to hang out play some darts I'm not one for darts really but it is fun it's actually what we ended up doing the other night so um let's see which direction should we go in first i think probably this way oh look they have shawarma <laughs> i wonder if it's any good i'm kind of tempted to try it being from canada canada's not particularly known for shawarma but uh Having Ottawa, a lot of Lebanese people, shawarma is very, very good and very popular back home, depending on where you get it from. All right, here we are. It's uh, kind of busy down here. I don't even know which direction to head in first. Maybe this way. Yeah, if you guys are not one for crowds, definitely think again before coming to places like this. <laughs> So apparently going back that way is the wrong way. So we're gonna actually head down this way where we see all the cool fancy buildings down there. Gijo, I don't know what that is. It's probably like a big hobby shop. I actually might have been in there. Let's go uh, get a little closer and see what the heck that is. But got lots of little, little shops down here. I don't know what they're selling, but oh, they got prepaid sims. I could probably use that. Well, here appears to be where a lot of the action is. Just hordes of people everywhere. Let's head down in this direction. This is a very popular thing. Got uh, made made cafes. <laughs> Uh, do we turn left? Sure, let's turn left. Apparently there's a place called Card Kingdom in here. I'm trying to find it because, not that I need anything, but it might be this. Oh yeah, Card Kingdom. But uh, Carlo apparently needs something. Oh yeah, look at that. Pokemon stuff. I don't know, he was asking for something specific, but I have no idea what the hell he was even talking about. <laughs> I guess we can uh, go upstairs and take a look at what they have in here. Damn. This is definitely not really my thing. <laughs> this is kind of crazy, there's literally like four floors. Apparently the Pokemon cards are up there. Um, so I might actually video call Carlo and show him what there is because he was looking for something. I don't even really know what, to be honest. And we found it. Now I'm going to have to call him to see uh, what the hell he wants, if anything. So, uh, cool spot, but unfortunately they did not have what Carlo was looking for, which is an old card from the 90s. Good luck with that one, Carlo. Alright, I am uh, really confused <laughs> as to where I'm even going but damn this is freaking crazy let's take a look at all this stuff got some cool dragon ball z stuff there's stuff like this just everywhere over here but uh can't seem to figure out where the hell i'm trying to get to so i'm not gonna lie it's kind of easy to get uh 
cross down here, but I think I need to go down this way and then turn left. Damn, there's so many freaking stores. It's like random little things everywhere. I think they have Hot Wheels in there. <laughs> oh, we got another, uh, another <laughs> cafe maid person. Kind of weird, but okay. Got this giant Pikachu onesie thing, which is hilarious. So here we got more. Gotcha. There's like a whole bunch more of these games in here. Oh look! You can win a donkey. I think that's what that is. <laughs> that's hilarious. We got this thing. I don't know what that is. Here we got a bunch of mini ones. You can win a, a, a duck. <laughs> Some Pokemon looking things. Yeah, those are definitely Pokemon. Oh, look at those. You can win uh, Flareon. That is so freaking cool. Wow. So, there appears to be a whole other floor. They're obviously really, really into this stuff. This is not really my thing, but it's fun to document just to kind of look around and see what's in here. Oh look, more gotcha. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> you can get a little car. Tons more of these uh, claw type of machines. I'm not really sure how this one works. You just gotta basically get it from here and make it fall off or something. I don't even know. Break man, this is wild. There's tons more over here. I don't even know who these characters are. I haven't been into anime in many years. So it sounds like somebody won something on the other side. I heard them celebrating. Yes, victory. So I think I'm gonna try and get a Kirby here. I only have one 100 yen coin, so wish me luck here. Okay. Let's go for... Are we good? Uh, I think it might be okay. Hopefully. Let's try it. Oh. Oh. You better got it. Yes. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> that was so deceiving. Wow. Talk about scam. So I just realized I was looking for, uh, I think the Sega store, and I think this used to be it. Where I literally just was. It's now whatever this is. And I was kind of searching to see if there was like a second floor, but I could not figure it out for the life of me. All right, let's figure out where else to go. So I just noticed down there they have uh, slot and pachinko as well, which is kind of like a sort of like a casino kind of thing here in Japan. And I think there's another one down there. Um, there's just so much stuff. It's it's quite overwhelming. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not really one for uh, busy areas, but I do want to continue exploring. Okay, I'm gonna head down this way for a bit. Got, uh, I don't even know what this store is. There's a money exchange. Okay. Damn. Look at all those people crossing. So I guess this is like one of the main crosswalks here. It's like a billion people all at one time. It's not as crazy as Shibuya. Just kind of like where we started off the videos, but uh, still crazy to observe. Oh damn, there's another one of these uh, Jijo things here too. That's hilarious. I don't even know which way to go. Now I'm tempted to try again, but... I'm gonna waste too many yen. <laughs> so I'm going down kind of like one of these side street areas. Looked like a bunch of people were going down these ways too. So might as well check it out. 
Um, at some point, I am going to be heading towards another area, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Here looks like uh, computers. Cool. What the heck? Ooh, this looks kind of interesting. Guess might as well see what's down here. So everybody's just walking, and then all of a sudden there's this random van coming through. <laughs> Don't hit anybody. Okay. But yeah, there's a lot of these uh, maids and stuff everywhere. Oh, I think I actually just found one. That's funny. I don't really know too much about them, but... Apparently there's just girls dressed up in maid outfits. Every which direction you turn, there's more! There's a lot of these, uh, collectible shops. Like, tons of them. Got what looks like walkie-talkies, okay. It's like a radio store. Interesting. Got another one of these. That's pretty cool. Another gotcha. They're just everywhere. I think I have no idea what any of these characters are. I know Kirby, hence I was trying to win one, but no luck with that. So, i uh, just been kind of roaming around, and uh, honestly, like, this area is really cool, but it's not really my thing. I like to go to older historical places. It is cool to come and observe, which is why I like to kind of come through these spots. But to be honest, I kind of did all this four years ago, um, and not much has really changed, apart from maybe a few stores that appear to be missing, like the Sega store, uh, Nintendo. I don't remember where any of that is. It might be in a completely different area, and I just... I remember it was a long time ago but uh i'm probably gonna head out of here soon and uh there is a beer festival going on until 9 p.m tonight so i might check that out might check something else in between um i don't know yet i'm just kind of like uh on the fly just doing random things sporadic so i walked pretty far down the street um gonna do a little spin around this way probably start heading back towards the station and uh get out of here had my fun <laughs> little hike through Akihabara pretty cool spot but very very busy and uh, there's not really much for me to to do here to be honest so we're gonna move along